Rail Baltica, connecting Europe. Rail Baltica, hundreds of kilometers, thousands of new employment opportunities and a more comfortable, environmentally friendly mode of transit. That is how this project can be described. The project idea was conceived in 1994 and in 2004 the European Parliament made Rail Baltica the priority project of the European Union Trans-European Transport Network 10T. In 2011, Lithuania gave this project high national importance status. The works began in 2013. The international segment from the Polish-Lithuanian border through Mariampole and Kaunas is finished. In the future, the high-speed train track will connect Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, Finland and Poland with other European Union countries. Why did Lithuania need Rail Baltica? Almost the entire railway network of other European Union countries has a standard of 1435 mm wide track. This standard is used not only in Europe, but also in the USA, Canada, China, Australia and other countries. Today, 60% of the global railway network consists of the 1435mm track. Thanks to Rail Baltica, the Baltic countries will connect to this network and without any obstacles reach the Western countries. This will bring Europe even closer. Rail Baltica track from Tallinn through Riga and Kaunas to Warsaw will span 1,100 km. This segment will connect to the European Railway Network North Sea Baltic Transport Corridor that spans 3,200 km and connects Northern, Eastern and Western Europe. Lithuanian contractors in the 120 km of Rail Baltica have laid the new European standard track and renovated the Russian standard track next to it. A total of 233 kilometers of both standard rails were constructed in the segment. In the future, Rail Baltica Railroad in the Lithuanian territory will be constructed from Konas to Lithuanian-Latvian border. Then, the Rail Baltica Railroad in Latvia will be constructed through Riga until the border of Estonia and in Estonia through Tallinn up to the sea ferry line with Finland. Rail Baltica is the biggest infrastructure project in the independent Lithuania's history. The new railroad construction from Lithuanian Polish border to Kaunas cost 364.5 million euros. A thousand specialists worked on this segment using almost 700 pieces of various construction and railroad construction equipment. For the rails and bridges, tens of tons of metal were used. Hundreds of thousands of tons of road metal were used for the railway bed track. To protect the migrating animals, traffic participants and inhabitants from trains, the contractors built a 100 km of protective fence and noise-dampening walls. Tens of bridges, viaducts, crossings, spillways, turnouts and a new drainage system were built. Due to Rail Baltica, Lithuania, together with other Baltic countries, integrates into the whole European railroad network. Higher quality passenger and cargo transport to Europe will help attract more tourists and, of course, cargo, thus increasing the country's competitiveness. According to the European Commission, investing in transport infrastructure projects creates employment opportunities and economic growth in Europe. It is calculated that the positive impact on the economy and the job market will continue until the year 2030. Rail Baltica is not only an economic project for improving regions, creating employment opportunities and reducing separation. It is also an ecology project, because trains have lower carbon dioxide emissions. Also, Rail Baltica will reduce transport jams in the road network. And because of that, harmful pollutant emissions will be lowered by up to 40%. Lithuania citizens believe in the benefit of Rail Baltica. A 2014 population survey revealed that Lithuanians are certain of Rail Baltica benefits. It will increase communication with Europe, cargo and tourism numbers and will create more jobs. Because of Rail Baltica, we will travel through Europe faster, safer and more comfortably. The Rail Baltica project was mutually financed by